This is pre-calculus concept 31C. Our final two sum and difference formulas are for tangent. So down here we have tangent of alpha plus beta and tangent of alpha minus beta. These are two more formulas you want to add to your toolkit and be able to use and recognize. Alright, we'll just do one example. These are generally a little bit tougher problems because the simplifying and the evaluating is just a little bit harder. But uh, here's a typical question. Find the exact value without your calculators of the tangent of the difference of two angles. Uh, looking up our formula, the tangent of a difference of two angles is going to be the tangent of the first angle minus the tangent of the second angle divided by 1 plus the tangent of the first angle times the tangent of the second. Alright, just off to the side here, I'm going to actually draw these two angles. Uh, 4 pi over 3 is a second quadrant angle. The coordinates there, you should remember, are negative 1 half and root 3 over 2. And if I want the tangent of 4 pi over 3, I've got to do the sine over the cosine, which ends up being negative root 3. So that's an important value that I need. Um, the other one, I'll do that in green here, pi over 4 has the coordinates of root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2 and the tangent of pi over 4 is going to be the sine over the cosine which is 1, that's a little bit easier one. So those are two values I need if I go back down to my answer and plug those values in I've got the tangent of 4 pi over 3 minus the tangent of pi over 4 divided by 1 plus the product of those two tangents. If I simplify a little bit, I get negative root 3 over negative, uh, minus 1 over 1 minus root 3. And that's my answer. However, if you remember about fractions, we want to avoid having a radical in the bottom. And so there's one more step to simplifying this, which is to multiply by the conjugate of the bottom. And it's been a while since we did this, but you should be able to um, simplify an expression like that. Okay, in the numerator, I'm going to have to FOIL. And when I do that, I get a negative root 3. I get a minus 1. I get a minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. And then I have a minus root 3. In the bottom, I have a 1, I have a minus root 3, I have a plus root 3, that's a good thing. And then I have minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. Um, those cancel. Um, you end up in the top with negative 4 minus 2 root 3. And in the bottom, you end up with a negative 2. And the last thing I can do is factor out a negative 2 from the top, and I get 2 plus root 3 all over negative 2. Final, final answer after quite a bit of work with this problem is 2 plus root 3.